think back to second grade. Think back to reading Curious George with our second grade teacher, and she was teaching us our five W's and our honorary W. Who, what, where, why, when, and how. All of these are used to gather information about an event or a situation. Today, we're going to use them to look at our business plan and what's going on. So, I'm going to read a mission quote. And as I read it, I want you to think about what store this could be coming from. We are committed to improving the lives of our customers by providing quality services, products, and solutions that earn their trust and build lifetime relationships. When I read that, who did you think of? Maybe Walmart, Amazon, Target? No, this is the mission statement of Sears. Why did we not think of Sears? Because Sears is in a stage of decline. They're actually in stage four of decline. And how did we get here? We'll go through the steps. Stage one, hubris of success. In the 1980s, they were in their highest revenue. They were the largest U.S. retailer. Stage two, undisciplined pursuit of more. They started getting into real estate, technology, credit cards. These are all non-retail to the extent that they actually sold the catalog, which was their stronghold in 1993. Stage three, denial of risk and peril. They started selling off portions. Sold the retail credit card company in 03. Merged with Kmart in 04 and sold the remainder of their credit cards to Chase in 05. Stage four, now. They are grasping for salvation. In 2014 and 2015, they were selling off portions of its balance sheet just to stay afloat. Lands Inc. clothing line and their Sears Canada. So why are we here? What factors led us here? We have other retailers, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. All of these are competition. We have a lack of a new and younger generational appeal. And we also have an empty the ship business strategy. We're just selling up what we can so we can stay afloat. The causes of this is that we have lost the competitive edge. Home Depot and Lowe's have knowledgeable employees. They know their products, they know their store. Walmart and Target, lower prices and the appeal. They have the flash. Amazon, they're more convenient. Order it online, have it shipped to your door. So we have the threats of competition and being outdated. We have the weaknesses of lack of name recognition, lack of products on the shelf, lack of employee knowledge. So why bother? What can Sears possibly do? Well, Sears has a history, a history that nobody else can talk about. We were began in 1888. This company had a catalog that everybody wanted. Children wished out of it and parents dreamed out of it. We opened our first store in 1925. The opportunities that we have in order to get back there is just increase our online sales, grow our private lines, and update and modernize. We can get back in this game. We've got to refocus. Now, we've got to get back to our mission. Our mission of providing quality products and services. No search engine, credit card, or real estate is going to bring us back to that mission. We have a new vision. Modernize and update Sears so we are back in every household like we were in the 1980s. So what are our goals going to be to get there? We have our one-year goals, which are to increase our revenue by $4 billion. Plausible. Increase our downloaded apps by $1 million. And to give employee training 10 hours per year. It's five hours every six months. So, how are we going to reach these goals? One, we're going to revamp our hard lines. That's our craftsman. Kenmore, Die Hard, these are our brands, we know them, bring them back and let's sell them. We know them better than anybody else does. So, we're also going to bring them back to the United States. We are going to make them. They are going to be United States brands. And we're going to fully stock our stores. Everything we say we sell, we're going to have in stock. We're going to have it on the shelf. Secondly, our employee training. It's going to be 10 hours per year. It's only 5 hours per every 6 months. And that's going to go two hours of departmental knowledge. Every customer is going to know their products because every employee is going to know their products. Secondly, one hour customer service training. Third is one hour of store training where we know our history, we know what we have to offer. And one hour of hands-on with an associate on the floor. We're also going to rebrand. Our logo is simple, it's old, it's outdated. Amazon, Target, Home Depot, they're bright. They appeal to the customer. 
we're going to pull that in. In addition to that, we're going to redo our layout of our stores. Our stores hide our best products. We're going to bring them around front and we're going to showcase those. Now, technologically, we're going to get ahead of everybody else. We're going to add on to our app something nobody else has, to chat option. You're able to get on and speak to an employee who's knowledgeable about the products and knowledgeable about the department. Now, we know who we are. We know where we are on the stage of decline. We know what we are doing wrong. We know why we can improve this store and when we want to see the progress of it, how we're going to do all this. So that's it, right? No. A company that was strong for 100 years did not fade for no reason. We lost focus. We lost control. So now every one year following this, we are going to make sure that each department set their own goals in order to reach our vision. We are also going to make sure that we reached our goals in our downloaded apps, in our revenue. If we did reach those goals, how are we going to continue? And if we didn't, what are we going to do to get there? Where are our revenues? Where is our customer? Where is our employee, our employee turnover? Is it all going the way we had planned? We want our name in every household and we want it good.